hell is other people. In a world man must create his own essence. It is in throwing himself into the world, suffering there, struggling there, that he gradually defines himself. We are our choices. Once you hear the details of victory, it is hard to distinguish it from defeat. Every existing thing is born without the reason, prolongs itself out of weakness, and then simply dies by chance. I confuse things with their names. That is a belief. That is exactly the writer's problem for what does literature stand for in a hungry world? Who can exhaust a man? Who knows a man's resources? I have it seemed dropped out of their hearts like a sparrow fallen from its nest. So gather me up, fold me to your heart, and you will see just how nice I can be. Ah, do not judge the gods, young man. They too have painful secrets. I think of death only with tranquility, as an end. I refuse to let death hamper life. Death must enter life only to define it. You are perhaps not lying, but you are certainly not telling the truth. As for us, my little friend, we entered because we were tired of dying of hunger. All that I know about my life, it seems, I have learned in books. The night is falling. At dusk, you must have good eyesight to be able to tell the good Lord from the devil himself. All human activities are equivalent. If literature isn't everything, it's not worth a single hour of someone's trouble. When the rich wage war, it is the poor who die. In reality, people read because they want to write. Anyway, reading is a sort of rewriting. Like morality, literature needs to be universal. There may be more beautiful times, but this one is ours. My love, you're not one thing in my life, not even the most important, because my life no longer belongs to me, because you are always me. We must act out of passion before we can truly feel it. The real nature of the present revealed itself it was what exists. All that was not present does not exist. I have no need for good souls. An accomplice is what I truly wanted. Anything, anything would be better than this agony of mind. This creeping pain that gnaws and fumbles and caresses one and never hurts quite enough. I wanted my own words, but the ones I use have been dragged through I don't know how many consciousness. We do not judge the people we love. When we love animals and children too much, we love them at the expense of men. This desire to write is rather strange all the same and is not without a certain cracked quality. It answers the question that was tormenting you, my love. You are not one thing in my life, not even the most important, because my life no longer belongs to me. You are always me. Please subscribe for daily motivational quotes.